Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try an old cowboy song, The Old Chisholm Trail. You need an E chord. So, uh, I, I'm not going to remember the words, but it's something like, uh, uh, Come on, all the boys, listen to the tale. Listen about my troubles on the old Chisholm Trail. Come tie out your pain. That's all you need. It just keeps revolving around, around, around. Now, don't go by my lyrics. <laughs> I'm just going on memory. I only know the first verse, and then it, I know it just keeps repeating the whole song. So, uh, let's see. Two chords. It's only two chords. Although you could, could end it on an E6. Make it real fancy like that if you want. So, uh, E chord. Fifth string and fourth string second fret, third string first fret. And what I'm doing on that is I'm just kind of like, I'll hit the sixth string and I'll either do a down or a down up. I vary it, whatever, whatever I feel like. So I, I hit a, a sixth string open, that's my boom, and then the chord. Then I'm going to hit the fifth string and then the chord. And I'll, I'm going to do that, that, so this is one measure, it's like. So what right there I did boom, down, up, a little quick up. Down, and then the B, well, this note is B. And then I did it down, so it's like. You do it like four times. Then I'm gonna swivel to a B7 chord. Fifth string, second fret, I can leave my finger right there. First, uh, fourth string, first fret, third string, uh, second fret, and first string, second fret. That's my B7 chord. I'm gonna hit the fifth string. And then strum the chord, and then I'm going to move my middle finger to the sixth string, strum the chord, and then I go back to an E chord. So it's like, then the E, then back to the B7 again, and then the E. And that's the whole song. So here, just watch it go by. You got E, listen to the tale, tell you about my troubles on the old Gibson trail. B7, and then the E. Seven and an E. Okay, and I bury it the down up thing, and uh, that's the whole song. It just keeps going around and around like that. And like I said, if you want, you could end it like uh, come a tie I be. I'm oh, sorry, come a tie I be. Come a tie I be. Could end on an E seven. What I'm doing there is it's an E chord. So the 5th string and 4th string 2nd fret, 3rd string 1st fret, and I add my pinky on the 2nd string 2nd fret, it's like an E6, okay? I don't know what I said before, but it's an E6, and that's, that's a cool, uh, you know, cool jazzy chord to, to end your uh, country songs with. Alright, any questions, comments down below, and hit the like button, please subscribe, and play more guitar.